Hey guys and welcome back to the last video of player analysis. Today we are talking about Emerson Palmieri. Make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe. Um, we are trying to hit 500 subscribers. We have hit, we have gained 18 subscribers this month guys. That is the biggest I'm pretty sure I've had on this channel. So the support, especially in this month, the probably the longest month ever. Uh, honestly, it's been so long. We've done so much. And... Um, just on the YouTube channel in general, it's definitely been the biggest uh, in terms of numbers and stuff like that. And we're only we're only getting started. We're only gonna do bigger and better things. We're hopefully some more collaborations in the future. We will see. But well, yeah. Any, anyway, we're gonna get into player analysis today. We're talking about Emerson Palmieri, and uh, Emerson. We signed him twenty twenty two in the summertime, and. Uh, we played against him when West Ham faced Leon. Obviously, he was on loan from Chelsea for a long time. He was on loan from Chelsea a lot. He went on a lot of loans. I'm pretty sure he went on loan to Roma at one point. He was he didn't go on loan in the Champions League running. That's why he's got a Champions League medal. He scored against, I think it was Atletico Madrid in the quarters or round of 16 uh, when Chelsea won the Champions League. Um, and if you go back on the video where I was talking about Emerson joining West Ham, you will know that I did not want this guy. I was very happy that the deal was off at one point because if you guys remember, the deal was off and then it went back on. And I was happy that the deal was off because I had my doubts about him defensively. But when he joined, I texted one of my Chelsea friends and I was like, what do you think of Emerson like? And he was like, and one of my Chelsea friends was like, he's not that bad. He was just playing second fiddle to whoever was in. We all, We always had someone better. So I was like, okay, I'll give him a chance. But because I didn't want Aaron Cresswell to start anymore, I was like, start him. But when Emerson first started last season, it was either at left wing back or left wing. Now, Moyes is stubborn. Moyes likes his favourites. He was being very cautious with all of the signings. He didn't integrate them properly. And Emerson was a victim of that. Now, Emerson started to get into the team around the back end of the season. Even though Aaron Cresswell did play well in the games against Alkmaar, Emerson earned his place in the final. And that Conference League final, by far, helped Emerson secure his starting place. Because this is David Moyes we're talking about. This guy would have started Cresswell at any game he liked. He, he, I'm pretty sure he still wants to. That's what I think. I think he really wants to. But, you know, Aaron Cresswell cannot start any longer for this, for this club. So, luckily, Emerson has secured his place and... Look, we haven't looked back since, have we? Like, if we're going to be talking, be talking about Hammer of the Year, it's got to be either Emerson or Alphonse Ariola. Now, I probably could have done one of these on Ariola as well. But Emerson has been a revelation. He has transformed West Ham, I'd say, especially with the balance of him being able to defend and attack. His defensive abilities are actually not spoken about enough. He's actually really good defensively. Well, not really good, but good. He's good enough for a modern left-back, and he's really good going forward. He's basically a winger. He, mo he wants to run on the inside, wants to run on the outside. Has a good understanding with Pakitar. They know where each other are on the pitch all the time. They're pretty much telepathic. And they only played one. They only played with each other one season at um, Leon, but they just know each other that well. That This is their second, probably, actual f season where they get to play together in their careers. Because last year, they didn't get to play together that much. But... Emerson has helped us in possession. Emerson has helped us even defensively because everyone was targeting Aaron Cresswell. Now, Emerson will struggle against some wingers that take him on, but he will also get the better of some wingers. But going forward, we had nothing from Cresswell. We, had, we just had Cresswell going in slightly inverted, slightly not inverted, and for the occasional overlap and him being able to put a ball in. But Emerson has helped with the amount of times he's running forward. Like, the amount of times he's helping the people down the left-hand side. That's why we need a left-winger as well, so we can have a great left-hand side with them, Paquita and Emerson all linking up. You know, creating the triangles and all that nonsense. But they, you, you, if you attack with more intent with attacking players, players that understand their role, Emerson is one of those guys. He can even go with his right foot if he really wants to. He has got a shot on him. He, he, if he wants to as well, and if he can, he'll get into the box. Like, the guy is a very attacking player. Now, I understand why Moyes was like, I'm only playing with a three at the back and all that. But you've got to give him a chance at a four. And, and this season, we've finally seen that. 
we've finally seen him be given a chance on the four and him and a doggy are probably the two left backs in contention for for a left back in, in team of the season Tottenham fans will argue that their left back will argue our left back like it could be either or in my opinion Emerson has barely put a foot wrong now I do I, I do agree that Paquetel will get a better out of him but even in that little patch where he wasn't amazing he wasn't shit either he wasn't dog shit I don't think Emerson has had a game where I've been like, you were shit today. I don't think he's had a game where he's like that. Um, he's been definitely beaten by some wingers, but there haven't been terrible games at all. And he's one of the players that we always need 100% fit. Now, he took a knock um, just before the Villa game, but luckily we had him for the Villa game. Could you imagine Leon Bailey on Aaron Cresswell? Could you imagine Moussa Diaby on Aaron Cresswell? Luckily, Emerson, like... Unfortunately for him, he's not going to get into the Italian in, into the Italian team, even though he played in the Euros final uh, when, when they beat England. But it's good for us because he'll stay fit. He'll stay fit. He'll just train with the club. And we'll have him for Newcastle. And I'd back him against someone like an Almiron that doesn't take on their man. Or Jacob Murphy is just... He's direct. He's got a shot on him, but he's not, he's not threatening, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Like I think Emerson has... Not single-handedly, but he's been a big part of why we're so much more secure in possession, creating more ideas. Now, unfortunately, this manager is slightly holding the team back when it comes to getting more goals, getting getting more chances, trying to create more and trying to get over the line. But Emerson has helped us a lot. Like, if we were start with Aaron Cresswell for the whole season, we wouldn't be top half. I think people think... People got to realise that as well. That's how crucial and impactful Emerson has been. But let me know in the comments whether you agree, whether you think the same. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. The social medias are in the description if you want to follow me in the email for the inquiries. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Newcastle preview. I'll take care. See you later. Goodbye.